You are in for a treat today, guys. I am gonna try out this software called Vibe Pro Balance Pro with my buddy Tom over here for the first time. I know a lot of people on camera like to be prepared and like to get into something and go over it a few times before we actually hit record, but I'd like to also do you guys the great favor of the realization this is my first time. This will be the first time I do this. I want to show you how easy and or difficult it is, but I think it's going to be real easy to do. So Tom's going to walk us both through this software and how these spindles can be balanced using Balance Pro. So Tom, let's start with what do we do? What am I doing? And let's see how good we are with okay. this software, right? Yeah, what are we doing here? All right, we are actually going to teach Tony Gunn how to balance a precision spindle, which a GTI, we precision balance at speed every single spindle that leaves here to give a very, very fine uh, one times running speed, easier on your bearings, longer lasting spindle. And we're going to teach Tony how to walk through our iPad software and actually walk through and balance the spindle. He's going to put his hand on it before we balance it, and he's going to put his hand on it after balance. We're going to get his impression, and we're just going to walk through how easy it is, the one, two, three steps of doing so. So I am going to put the screws in for Tony and try to balance this microphone at the same time. <laughs> and Tony is just going to press the buttons as we run this spindle up for its very first time. So there's a button down here. I am going to hit it, and the spindle is going to start turning. About uh, how fast are we going, Tom? Yeah, this one, we're going to be going about 7,000 RPM. Okay. So it's not slow by any means, but not as fast as our 20, 30,000 RPM spindles. And I'm watching it over here as well, right? There's yep. a graph that's kind of showing when it's up to speed. Yep, you're seeing a peak there that's our running speed peak with the cursor on top. And you're also seeing a graph on the bottom showing a polar plot where the heavy spot is. Yeah, it so, definitely looks like it's out of balance currently. Yeah, uh, no, would now be hand, the time where I put the hand careful, on it? Just be careful, but put your hand on there, and you'll feel that vibration. You definitely feel it. And if I'm running a cutting tool right now, I'm definitely losing life and creating a poor finish. That's correct. So what we're going to get you to do is press that number one button, and you're going to tell me what it's. It says point, the next line is telling you to do while say, I shut this motor off at the same time. It says add uh, two ounces, that is 0 0.04 amplitude is what I'm looking at with the mm -hmm. numbers and to add two ounce, point zero or zero 0.02 ounces. Point zero 0.02 ounces at what degree does it say right 23 next? degrees. 23 degrees. All right, and there's a cool feature on there where you can actually hold that iPad up to our 12 o'clock position, which we'll show, and you can actually look through the camera to know where that 20, uh, but I, we already know where it is, and I've already weighed your test screw here. So you know where it is. I think we have a piece of tape here as well, but for a person yep. who didn't set up accordingly, you can take this iPad, pick it up, put it at the 12 o'clock position. It'll show exactly where you're supposed right to put that screw. Right through the camera. Yep, right Impressive. through the camera. So I'm going to take this trial weight, which is just what the word implies, trial weight, and we're going to thread it in this screw hole here, hopefully. And while you're doing that, when one you say handed. trial, yeah, one-handed, I can help you if you'd like, but uh, when you say trial rate, is it just to, trial weight, is it just to uh, try to figure out where it's more imperfect and how to get it more perfect? Is that what trial means? Yep, trial means the software found what it thought was its heavy okay. spot because things are mounted and, and, and what phase lag can do is fool us. So we're putting a trial weight in and we're gonna take another reading so the software can say, all right, well, I thought the heavy spot was here, but now it's shifted a little bit with my trial weight. So now I can make the calculations and, and do the polar plotting that I need in the computer, which we don't need to do, so that it's gonna tell us exactly how much weight to add at exactly what degree so that we can balance this spindle in this case. So I put the screw in. All right, screw is in. Screw is in, we're launching. And now wait, I wait for the graph to show me again. Well, wait for the spindle to come up to speed. Yep. And we're probably going to see that that little red spot is probably not as far out in that polar plot as what it was the first time around. It's not, and right now it's looking like there's this big green area. Yep. And a white area outside of that. We're now in the green area. We're in the tolerance range, but we want to get even better. So I want you to hit that number two button, and that's going to collect our trial weight uh, data and then I'm going to shut the machine off so we can talk a little bit more. So what that's done now is taken it another data reading with that trial weight. Now the next line should be telling you exactly what we need to do. It's going to 
in the black, it should be telling you how much weight and at what angle do we add it. It says correction weight at 6.21 ounces at 32 degrees. All right. So we know that we take our trial weight out because as the word implies, it is a trial weight. So I'm going to remove that. And if I drop it now, it's not a problem because we don't need it. We're going in. Now, I don't have a hole at 30 degrees. I have one at 20 and I have one at 40. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the weight that it told me to put at 30 degrees mm -hmm. and I'm splitting it between those two points to come up with the exact weight at the 30 degrees that it wanted. Ah, that's clever. So, because sometimes we don't have a hole at the 30 degrees. So what I'm learning from you, Tom, is this something that can be implied at a, a, anyone's shop right now? If somebody bought oh, the software and they have these spindles and they just want to balance it on their own, they can do all of this? Yep, Oh, what? absolutely. Uh, most spindle shops have our stuff already. Uh, if you don't, they're glad to have it and call us and, and get set up. But this was born in the spindle world, both Vipro and Balance Pro. So it, it's very it, not that it doesn't work on fans, pumps, and motors, and all those other things, but it was designed around high-speed spindles. Right. So we've kind of, and, and there's actually a neat little button that uh, says split there. Can you see that little do. button? I do. You want me to hit that? Go ahead and hit that. All right. So what that does, see what I was just talking about? I didn't have a hole at 30 degrees. It shows the split of how much weight to put in hole 20 degrees and hole 45 degrees. Well, you're the professional, so you already so, knew what to do. But someone like yeah. myself, I'd hit the split button the so I could see how to do it. The software help you even, even more if, if you've never done it before. Very so. cool. Yep. And so now, we're, now we're ready for our last run. So just tap at that spectrum button in the top left corner so we can still see the spectrum. All right. And I will start the motor. Here we roll. And, spectrum and we're going to see how good you got is on your first go Is that graph that I was talking about at the beginning that's just kind of showing, wow. It's showing that one times. It's, it's so much low. The peak is so much lower now. It's gone. And the vibration is not there anymore either. No. And all we did was add a couple of screws with, how long did this take? I mean, the video is running. What are we at? Five, ten minutes at this five, point? Five, ten minutes. Now I hit the number three, right? Hit the number three for our final and then hit the report button. It'll put a beautiful PDF report of your results. I am right in the center of this thing. Yeah. And there's your nice report. You can take a photo of your of your setup, you can add the map, you can add the spectrums one, two, and three, and then just email that report out to the shipping receiving area to go out with the spindle, and you're done. Well, Tom, one thing I like to do when we're conveying messages to the MTD audience is to be authentic. And I want you guys to know this was not done ahead of time by me. No. I am learning just like the rest of you, and it really was a step one, a step two, and a step three. Almost like I'm back on Sesame Street again. It was that easy. Tom, that's amazing at how, how this has worked so well based on the vibration I felt before to the vibration I feel now, how easy it was to do with a couple of screws. We have the scale here. You had it weighed out, of course. You knew what was going on. But for me, all new technology that was so easy to apply. And if I was by myself, to be fair, I bet I'd do this two or three times and have ultimate confidence for what was going on. And it would be that easy. And, and we even put an instruction book in there if you would have hit the instructions, so you, you wouldn't have been able to mess up either way. Of course you did, right? You're covering all your bases. I like it a lot. Guys, this is amazing. Vibe Pro, Balance Pro is this software. It is that simple. Give my buddy Tom a call. Like he said, a lot of this is already in the shops, but if you're looking for it, it was that simple. It really was that simple. Tom, thank you so much for teaching me. All right, my pleasure.